And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects of making the various victims of our people. It was the Ijo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at People government college, Ujeli. Go, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, later, with the waiting camp, and, uh, and uh, that other camp, the Songo camp, you know, compensate everybody. In his key generation, sometimes. Today, our focus will be on the style of J.P. Clark, a poet and writer, and we shall also be very interested in this point at more dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and do more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. Good day, thank you very much for talking to people, places and events and to the African Center for Community and Development. What are your names, sir? Uh, my name is Johannes Bisson Ebai. And you are the proprietor of an institution. What is the name of your institution? Uh, CBAT, Center for Business and Accounting Training. Where is it situated? In Moliko Boya, at uh, Trostec Building. And what do you do? Can you give me uh, a picture of what you do? I am a school supervisor. Besides, I do lecturing in uh, corporate and business law and auditing. I have a team of other persons, uh, resource persons, who actually assist me to get on with the other modules. What is the benefit of such an institution to a developing country like Cameroon? It is really much because uh, it is a professional study, um, the ACCA and CAT training. That is the Association of uh, Chartered Certified Accountants and the Certified Accounting Technicians. Here, what happened is uh, we train students as professionals. Besides, we double up with a university degree because we are in partnership with the Oxford Brooks University. That after completion of the skill modules, you obtain a degree in applied accounting in which you forward a dissertation to them before qualifying as a professional for the ACC. So, um, a lot of students who leave secondary school and high school want to leave the country. What is your advice for them? Well, certainly, I believe to leave the country when you are not really, you are not really invested in education is not the best. For me, I feel that you should really come. I am like a bridge. I will come, I will lease you with the ACC and the CAT training so that you become a professional before leaving the country because you add value to yourself before you meet the world, you can be, face the world market because the training is very challenging. It is one that you update yourself and then you become, uh, you become uh, skillful for the general world market. So far you've been training a lot of Cameroonians. What are the difficulties you face as an institution? Well, it's sometimes I face the difficulty sometimes with the parents. It is really hard to convince them and sometimes to with the employers who some of them just pretend that they don't know about the qualification. But I, I can tell you, ACC has celebrated its centenary, meaning that it has existed for more than 100 years. And if you are an employer, human resource, or whether you are an accountant, and you don't know about the world organizational body, then you are telling a lie. Because I believe as an accountant, you must know about the first world um, accountancy body, which is uh, founded in more than 376 countries in the world. Now, a lot of universities offer programs that are linked to these kind of programs you are offering. What is the difference between your program and the university degree? Is it professionalism or something else? Okay, good. My, my program, the ACC and the CAT training, 
and even the ICM in which I am an that is Institute of Commercial Management in which I am an external resource person for the Pan-African Institute for Development is a professional qualification. A university degree doesn't make you a professional. It is very important to have a university degree but it doesn't make you a professional. But with the ACCA or any professional training, you qualify as a degree holder and besides you have the professional training with a lot of ethical values in you. So um, in terms of ethical values, let's come to Cameroon. Do you think some of the people who have gone through education in Cameroon um, do not have these values or maybe the system does not permit um, understanding or the use of these values? Yes, from what I'm being encountering, many people just talk about the system. But to me it's funny, what is a system? Because I believe we are the resources, we are the people, we are the organization. So we should try to implant these values into ourselves and not to hide under the canopy of that there is a system that uh, doesn't permit that. Ethics is something that is inborn. It's like your own personal disposition where person can, a, a person cannot really know into your innermost part of your life. So if you are, a, if you are exhibiting good ethical values, it is very important because even most employers today, they don't employ you based on the qualifications, but based on ethics. Now, um, what can you say are your last words in people, places and events? Can you tell the world what you're doing, what um, they can gain from sending their children, their brothers and sisters to your institution, or how they can support you to make sure that you impact on the lives of many more millions of Cameroonians? Yeah, uh, in the world, I can, what I can tell the world is that it is very important to give your child professional education. No matter the height in which the child has attained, I believe that professional education is very, is very um, uh, important. We started up like in a small group, like uh, see if it's a partnership, but it is, uh, we lack funding. So the world at large, if they can fund us, it was very important because I've never seen a business where it's not funded. Okay, a lot of people from the region where you hail from are interested in education. Can you call them in your dialect or something, um, both those who are at home or abroad, to understand that they can also support you and probably send your kid brothers and sisters who are idling in the country to come there and get professional training and also to integrate and mainstream themselves into development and management in Cameroon? Yes, uh, I am, uh, I am uh, a native from Manyo, precisely from Bisongabang village, healed from the Ebais family. And I, I would really appreciate if my people could come to me. So I will speak in my native language. Because in Nangdinganobe, a kati ke e e kibese sengu e e e ba kwa be che e e e e more ka ben be kus more ka be kibe ben ko bon ben ko ban bon betang mbure ndube e ba fit be chokono bati and then man them sari Thank you very much for talking to people, places and events and to the African Center for Community and Development. In a key generation sometimes, today our focus will be on the style of J.P. Clark, a poet and writer, and we shall also be very interested in this point at more dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Lives that are with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Now, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.